Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to learn how to create this awesome horizontal parallax animation in PowerPoint, well then just keep on watching. Today's video is sponsored by PDF Element 7 PDF Editor. You can get it at the Mac App Store, link is in the video description. And here are a couple of amazing things you can create with this PDF Editor. So first of all, you can create a brand new PDF document from scratch by dragging and dropping photos and adding some amazing text boxes. That's beautiful. Next, you can edit your existing PDF documents. Feel free to reposition your text boxes, delete or insert new text, change font color, font size or or the font itself. Next, you have a bunch of annotation possibilities. Use the highlight, pencil, text callout, sticky notes, or other tools to annotate your document. And don't forget the images. You can resize, crop, or replace your photos to make your PDF document even more amazing. Another cool thing is that you can add fillable form fields to your document. And if you want to sign the PDF document, PDF Element 7 has got you covered. And when you are finished with all of the edits, feel free to save your document as PDF or export it to other file formats such as PowerPoint. That's awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, before we dive into the action, let me quickly show you how this whole animation is constructed. So let's just go to View Slide Master. And here in the Slide Master, I have created this uh, custom slide layout, which is made out of three image placeholders. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So this one on the left side, this one in the center and this one on the right side. So we basically have three places where we can insert images. That is awesome. And with the help of the morph transition, we can animate these photos because uh, just take a look at this rose photo. As you can see in the first uh, slide, this rose photo is on the right side. And here on the second slide, this rose photo is already in the center. And with the help of the morph transition, you know, we can do all of this animation magic. Let me just show you once again. So the rose comes in from the right side. And as you can see, all of these text boxes are moving into the opposite direction. So this is again done by, you know, just switching up the places of these text boxes. So here in the first slide, Big City is here in the center. And here on the second slide, Big City is here on the left side already. So let me just show you everything step by step. It will be much more easier to understand. All right, so let's open up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's just uh, increase the window size. All right, whoops. Let me just get back to my presentation. All right. So let's choose a blank layout. Uh, let's go to view, uh, slide master. Beautiful. Let's pick this uh, blank slide layout. We can select these text boxes here at the bottom. We can delete them as well. We can go to view and click on guides so that we can see where is the center of the slide. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now let's go to uh, slide master, insert insert placeholder and choose picture and let's draw a nice picture placeholder which covers the whole slide like this beautiful let's zoom out a little bit now let's just copy this image placeholder command d to duplicate and let's move this copy here to the left side like this let me zoom out and move this you know second copy to the left side until the center of this second you know image placeholder is right on the left edge of the slide like this and let's just send it to back so that this central image placeholder is in the front like this all right and now let's duplicate it one more time and in this uh, this time let's just move this guy to the right side and let's attach it like this so now we have three image placeholders, one on the right side attached like this. This is the central one and this one is sent to the back and it has only half of its, you know, face showing here on the on the left side. Beautiful. We can close out the slide master view. Let's zoom in and we can check uh, check. <laughs> we can select, I mean, let's select this slide layout which which we have just created. It's a tongue twister, so many, so many difficult words in PowerPoint, you know, it's difficult <laughs> to pronounce everything. 
All right, so as you can see, we have uh, three image placeholders and we have these uh, three icons. So let's just click on this one and let's insert the central image. For example, let's choose this photo of Golden Bridge. All right, let me just check once again. What was, uh, how many photos actually we had in the first slide? So we had actually only two photos. So let's do the same right here. And here on the right side, we can insert, for example, this one. Beautiful. All right, so we're basically done with the first slide. We can duplicate it, right click on it, duplicate slide. In the transition options, make sure you choose morph because morph will help us to do the animation part. All right, and now on the second slide, we can actually delete these two photos. And as you remember here on the first slide, this golden state, uh, golden bridge photo was in the center. And here it has to be on the left side already. So let's uh, make sure this photo is on the left side. And the photo of the city now has to be in the center. So let's find this photo of the city. Let's insert it. Make sure the transition is set to morph and let's check it out from the start if everything is working nicely. And it does. Horizontal parallax in action. That's beautiful. Let's get back to our presentation. And here on the second slide, let's insert this third image on the right side. So let's just choose, for example, this photo. All right. And now we can duplicate slide number two. And here on the slide number three, we just have to move all of these photos to the left side. So this uh, photo with the landscape now has to be in the center. Beautiful. Let's just insert it. And this photo with the city now has to be on the left side. Okay. And here on the right side, we can insert a new photo. For example, this one. Okay, now let's just check it out on the full screen once again to make sure that we have no trouble. So everything looks awesome. Okay, and now let's duplicate it one more time. And let's delete all of these three photos and let's move them around. So now in the center we have this photo with a sunset. And this photo on the left side is this one with the landscape. And I think here on the right side, on the last slide, we actually don't need to insert any photo because this is the last slide. All right, so let's check it out again on the full screen. So this is the first slide. Here comes the second. Here comes the third one. And here comes the last one. So as you can see, the parallax animation is working beautifully because of our beautiful custom um, slide layout that we have created in the slide master view and because of the morph animation. All right, now let me show you how we can insert those uh, text boxes. I think we can deselect the slide guides. We will not need them anymore. And let's go to slide number one. All right, and let's go to insert and let's insert a rectangle like this. Uh, let's make sure that the shape fill, the rectangle fill is uh, white and we have no outlines. All right. And let's make sure that font color is set to black for the font size. We can set it to 60 or to yes, yeah, 65. And for the font itself, let's use um, a railway. And for the uh, font weight, let's use black, something like this. For the alignment, let's align it to the left side and let's type in something like golden. Let's just increase the think we can decrease a little bit the font size to, for example, 60. All right, so golden. And let's duplicate this text box, Command D or Control D. And let's type in here, for example, a bridge, golden bridge. Somehow I would like to leave more space for the text, you know, around inside of the rectangle. So let's just reduce the font size to 50. Yeah, I think this way looks a little bit more spacious. All right, let's move them closer like this. 
Let's make sure these two text boxes are aligned nicely to the left side. Let's move them here to the side and we can actually uh, right click on them and group them into one group. It will be much more easier to you know move them around. And now we can actually hold down the Alt key. This way we will make a copy. Hold down the Shift key to move in a straight line and let's release the mouse somewhere right here. This way we have made a beautiful copy. And for this text box, let's type in, for example, big city. Let's just uh, make these uh, text boxes uh, shorter like this. And now let's just select these two groups of text boxes, Command C or Control C to copy. Let's paste them into the second slide. And the important step, let's move them to the left side like this all right let's make sure that this golden bridge goes out to the right side like this and let's check it out from the first slide what kind of result do we get ladies and gentlemen skadoosh so as you can see uh, the text boxes are moving nicely to the right side while the photos are moving to the left side so we have this interesting looking effect and now we can continue adding the rest of the text boxes. So let's quickly copy this one. So we can call this one Majestic Landscape. Let's just increase the width of this uh, text box. All right, let's copy these two text boxes or groups of text boxes and let's paste it into slide number number three. Let's move them like this. Make sure that big city goes to the right side out of the, you know, view. And here on the, let's hold down the Alt or Option key and hold down the Shift key. Let's make a copy like this. And for this last photo, let's give it a name, for example, sunset, sunset hour or something like that. All right, let's copy these two groups of text boxes and paste them right here. And let's move, whoops, let's move them to the right side like this and make sure that the majestic, majestic landscape goes to the right side like this. And let's check it out from the slide number one. If everything is looking beautiful, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okie dokie. All right. <laughs> so this is the second slide. This is the third one. And this is the last one. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create this beautiful horizontal parallax animation together with these awesome and delicious looking text boxes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.